you've watched our last video on how to understand what your skin type is. Now we're on to the next step on how to create the best skincare routine for you. In this video, I'm gonna help you navigate all that confusion that's out there, the lotions, the serums, the creams, the oils, and how to really dwindle it down to the perfect micro skincare routine three steps. And then if you want to build the macro skincare routine, that's five to seven skincare steps. So let's get started. All right, so this is our micro skincare routine, our quick three-step routine. If you just wanna be really simple, your budget's small for whatever reason, okay? So we have cleansers, moisturizers, face oil, and I'm gonna cheat a little bit, and I'm adding an SPF 30. It's technically a fourth step only in the morning, but let's just assume we're all wearing an SPF 30 every single day anyways. Okay, so the first thing we have is the cleanser. There's a few different textures of cleansers that you want. Now, if you think, oh, I'm just gonna get any regular cleanser, I want you to consider a few things when you're shopping for cleansers. Number one is choose something that doesn't have any detergents in it. Things like sodium lauryl sulfate, those SLSs. If you have a cleanser with detergents, they really dry, strip, irritate your skin, you might as well be using dishwasher detergent to wash your face, and we know we all don't wanna do that, no judgment. So choose a cleanser without any detergents that's paraben free. Some of our favorite textures are, we have some of our gel cleansers for your oily combination skin. We have some of our milky, creamy cleansers like the Scentsy Wash. That's gonna be great for your dry skin, your sensitive skin, um, even your rosacea skincare. And then my personal favorite is the oil cleanser. This is a mini, I love it. It's the Buriti cleanser. Oil cleansers are great if you have dry skin, and they're also great to take off makeup because they basically melt any eye makeup or face makeup off without stripping the skin. So those are like the three main cleanser textures. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to a moisturizer, right? And then we have lotions or we have creams, depending on what your skin needs are, a really light lotion. Now it doesn't mean it doesn't give you hydration. It just means the texture of the product this one is one of my favorite, the Detox Daily Lotions. You're gonna wanna add some moisturizer into your skin. Specifically look for ones that are like a two or three in one. You want something that just gives you much more than a basic moisturizer. For instance, this one has plant stem cells in it, antioxidants in it, so there's even some anti-aging benefits in it. We have our clarifying hydrator that actually has salicylic acid in it and clarifying properties. So go for a moisturizer, if you're gonna just do three steps, that actually offers more than one benefit that has a few really good actives in it that are going to give you a bigger bang for your buck and for your skincare step. Step three, one of my favorites, a face oil. Not all face oils are created equal and yes, you need a face oil. This is my favorite, the Organic Omega Oil. It is our first product we ever created. Why do you need a face oil? It's going to seal it all in. In addition to sealing in all that hydration in your skin, a good oil will actually balance out your skin's natural oil production. That's right, if you're acne, you're, if you're acne prone, your skin will actually behave better and become less oily. It's going to nourish and feed your skin. If you're dry, it's gonna condition your skin. Your skin will be softer and bouncier and have that gorgeous glow. No matter what your skin type is, you want to put a face oil on your skin. It doesn't offer the same hydration as a moisturizer. A lot of people think they could do one or the other. The moisturizer is going to have actives in it. It's going to go deeper into the skin. This is going to nourish, feed, balance your skin's natural oil production. Now, when you're looking to shop for face oils, you're looking for ingredients that are rich in omega-3, 6 and 9 fatty acids. You want to look for a natural face oil that is not going to clog your pores. Avoid things like mineral oils. Your last and final step in your micro skincare routine is going to be an SPF 30. SPF is so important when it comes to treating your skin. Basically, if you don't have a sunscreen, everything else you're doing on your skin almost doesn't really matter. The sun is the number one cause of premature aging. You lose elasticity, you lose collagen because of that. You can get marks, acne marks, melasma, you name it, it all happens due to the sun. So you wanna make sure that you're really protecting your skin. Now, my number one tip for sunscreen is when you apply sunscreen to your face 
I don't want you to stop there. I want you to apply it to your face, your neck, your decollete, and finish with the top of your hands. Now lastly, one of the most common questions we get about sunscreen is, oh, I already have one in my makeup. It doesn't count. You're not using nearly enough makeup on your skin as much as you would need sunscreen. So please make sure that's a proper extra and final step in your routine. All right, we got our micro skincare routine all set up, right? Your cleanse, your moisturizer, your oil. Now we're gonna add our fun little bits and pieces to create a more macro skincare routine. We got the cleansers. The next step we're gonna do is an exfoliator. And you always wanna exfoliate clean skin. That's really important. There's two different types of exfoliators. There is what we call a, um, a chemical exfoliator and a particle-free exfoliator. And then there's one that's a physical exfoliator. Now, why is it important to exfoliate? As we age, the rate in which your skin cells basically turn over and shed starts to slow down, and that happens as early as our 20s. And when you have those dead cells sitting on your skin, they do two things. Number one, they make your skin look much older than it is because you have that surface dehydration and those surface fine lines. It does They're not real fine lines. They're just that dry skin sitting on top. The second thing is they create kind of like a barrier so your products won't be properly absorbed into your skin. So you want to shed those dead skin and you want to show the beautiful fresh complexion so these are two of my favorite exfoliators this is the flash facial the flash facial is particle free it's a gel so it's pretty universal it's great for any skin type this has hyalosome and prickly pear and when you rub it it's going to basically grab onto those dead skin cells and that surface dry skin is going to shed now, my second step that I wanna show you is our polish. This is our Omega Polish and Activator Duo. If your skin is more congested, you're worried about the size of your pores, you're worried about blackheads, you're worried about acne prone skin, especially like texture and roughness, you're gonna to wanna to use something called the Omega Polish and the Activator Duo. This is not a scrub. I want you to know that scrubs are not good. They can create like micro tears on the skin. If you want something that's a polish, you want something that's finely milled. It's almost the texture of flour. Okay, so you don't feel it at all. Now this one has some lactic acid in it, so it's actually gonna give your skin like a little zing and appeal, which I love. We have an active and a gentle version. We also have this activator gel. It's cooling gel. It has a little bit of lactic acid, aloe vera, and hyaluronic acid. You combine them together in equal parts, and you're gonna create this paste that almost disappears into your skin. This is one of Sonia's favorite products to use in facial or to send her clients home with because you can actually polish your skin with it every single day. You can do what I love to do, which is like leave it on for two minutes and it can create like a little home peel. And you could then leave it on for longer, like five to 10 minutes and it dries and it becomes like a mask. It's a three in one. So you wanna make sure no matter what that you're incorporating in your macro, a exfoliator in your skin routine. The last and final step in our macro skincare routine is an eye cream. An eye cream, an eye serum, an eye balm, any type of anti-aging eye product. There's so many great ones out there. The reason you need a separate eye cream and moisturizer is not enough is because the skin underneath our eyes and our, our lips are completely different than the skin on our face. The skin under your eyes and your lips do not have oil glands, and that's why you start to see signs of aging, expression lines, smile lines, all those lines happen around your eyes before they happen anywhere on your face. So you wanna make sure you have a good eye cream, and what is the right age to start? The earlier, the better. Preventative care is so much easier than trying to kind of reverse the age back. Some of our favorites are the section. This is great for dark circles and puffiness. This is a treatment. You can do something that's going to plump the eye area like the eye need, or one of my personal favorites, the Jade Energy Eye Balm. This one has CBD and green coffee. It energizes your eye area and it keeps it hydrated all day long. That is our macro skincare routine. Now, if you wanna be extra and you wanna add in some little serums, you're starting to feel like a skincare savant, I got you. These are the few extra products you can add in, and it doesn't mean you have to add in every day. You can kind of pop them in. The first thing is you wanna do some serums. If you do a serum, it would go right after your exfoliator. Some of my favorites is this vitamin C hyaluronic acid serum called Ultima C. If you have acne prone skin, the Super Clear is another great serum for acne prone skin. Another great treatment is a blemish buster. You can kind of dot this on as needed. It's a great emergency product. Or if you shave, um, I give this to a lot of men who shave their neck area and they like to pop it on their neck. 
And of course, the face mask. We all love a good face mask. It kind of takes that clinic into your house. There's all different types of face masks. These are different ways you can basically kick up your skincare routine a whole other notch and we can help you build it all along the way. I wanna thank you guys for watching. I hope this video was super helpful, helping you navigate skincare, how to create that right routine for you. Thanks for watching everyone.